Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a great day today. Today I wanna to share with you guys, I have a Dollar Tree haul and I have a Dollarama haul. So let's get right into this. You may hear the pitter patter of my little dogs, or my cat may make an appearance, and you may hear my husband, he's roaming in the house as well. So let's get right into this. I'm gonna start off with my Dollar Tree haul. So I went into the Dollar Tree to pick up just a few things to complete my Christmas wrapping and putting stuff in gift bags. So I picked up uh, two packages of these 24 uh, tissue paper gift tissue paper so I just picked up you know the red and green the traditional red and green so I got that but then I picked up several smaller bags because I do have gifts for people uh, not just for my children because we wrap my grandchildren's gifts but we put the adult gifts in bags so I picked up a few of these gift bags there's two in a pack for $1.25 but look at how cute they are they are just so cute. So that's that two pack. And then look at this one. I don't know if I'm gonna show you doubles. I don't think so. Look at that snowman. Oh, these are adorable little bags and they're not that big, they're just small. So that's perfect. This one says, Merry Christmas. Love snowman. And look at this little snowman family. Oh, so adorable. And then the last gift bag that I picked up, and I just think that they are so cute. Look at this adorable penguin. These are really cute bags. And look at that polar bear, adorable, love, love. So I got those just to help me out, you know, to keep organized. Um, I have uh, Rivers is get, getting off of the bottle and he's starting to drink a little sippy cup. So I picked him up his very own little sippy cup to have when he comes to grandma's. So he'll have that one. This is just a repurchase and it's Crafter Square and it's just the sponge brush set. I'm going through these like crazy. I do have to show you guys a video before I wrap everything of some of the little crafts that I made. I'm, they're just really cute and I'd like to share that with you guys. So I'll get to that soon, I hope. Um, I also picked this up, as I mentioned. I don't know when this is gonna go up, but my little grandsons are coming over to bake with grandma. So I just wanna make sure I have all the little treats for them whenever they come. So I picked up an apple juice and they love apple juice. So I got that for them. I picked this up because this is a name brand at the Dollar Tree and I'm like, really? So the other day, a little while back, I hauled the Aunt Jemima smaller um, little containers of maple syrup. Well, they have the Aunt Jemima original pancake mix. So it's just add water. So I don't, I usually make my own pancake mix, but I do love Aunt Jemima. So I picked that up for myself to have. And then the littles are coming over to do cookies. Like I said, I'm not sure when this is airing, like gonna go up but um, I can't make my usual mixing and stuff because of this shoulder. It is getting better, but it's still causing me some grief. So I just picked up this um, and we tried it before Phoenix and I and they worked out well. So it's just the sugar cookie mix. So I just picked up two of those. Now I have the tubes of chocolate chip and then I have another one of sugar cookie mix too. So we can cut that up and make our little cookies. The boys are gonna have fun. Even though I won't be cutting out shapes, I'm gonna let them add little sprinkles. It'll just be fun. They will love it. So I picked up two of those just a little bit extra to have to whenever we're baking I also picked up these clear portion cups uh, this is just a little bit bigger so my friend Darlene from um, Darlene McFate my life with Parkinson's made some uh, instant pot yogurt so I tried it and it turned out fabulous but you have to use like a, a Greek yogurt or whatever to, to do the base whenever you're starting it in your instant pot so I picked up some of these because I have a great big container. I'm going to portion it, two tablespoons per cup, and then I'll have it the next time I make some more of this delicious yogurt. If you guys get a chance, Google it or whatever on um, YouTube and, and the recipe is there. It's very simple. And then you could just make your own yogurt and it turned out fabulous, very, very good. So I'm glad I did that. Thank you, Darlene. You, you inspired me to make my own. Um, and the next few things, I just have a couple more things from the Dollar Tree and then I'll move on to my Dollarama haul. I picked up two of these BB Elf BB creams. This is the buff uh, color, you can see it right there. So I picked that up for my daughter and daughter-in-law socks. They're gonna be stocked up for makeup at the Dollar Tree Elf, wow, awesome. And then I found these, these are just the wall shelf, but this, the other day I, I showed you guys one and it was a little bit smaller, it was longer. It was like about that long. This wall shelf just looks like that. So there's two of them in here. So I picked up four, five altogether. 
excellent, excellent gifts in my family. We give out little stocking stuffer gifts and stuff. So this makes an excellent gift for anybody, really, who has houseplants. You can put anything on there. And then I came across these and I was so happy. They're just calling these pencil cases, but I'm going to use them in my craft room and I'm going to label them. I only picked up two because I, I wanted to pick up more, believe me. And I thought, no, I'm just getting two. So they're just these. And then you open them and they have, see that? Look at how cute that is. Oops. <laughs> and, oh, there we go. It just sets in here. It just came out of the little holes here. There. So I got a pink one. I got the, this turquoise one. And then I also picked up this cute little pink one. Like, how cute are they to store little stickers on or anything? Glue sticks, you know, so you always know you could fill two little things full of your glue sticks in here. Like, if you have the half ones, so, so handy. So, I picked up two of those. I'm so happy to get that. So, I'm going to move on to my Dollarama haul now, guys, and I don't have a lot to share. So, just bear with me. I'm going to put everything up so I can show you guys. Okay, sorry about that, guys. So, now on to my Dollarama haul, and it's just, I picked up some Windex. This was $3 at the Dollarama, but I love Windex. It's always, I've tried the one at the Dollar Tree, which is good too, but this is my preferred stuff. This is my go-to all of the time. I picked the girls up some socks. I'm going to divide these into two, so they'll each get three pairs for Christmas. This was uh, $4 at the Dollar Tree. They're just the ladies' low-cut uh, socks, and there's six in the pack. So I picked that up. This was... I'm not even sure where this was. I has so somewhere else it was five dollars. So I only saved a dollar, but still. So they're just that you could feel the quality in these. So I picked that up for the girls. I picked these up for the boys. These were three dollars each. There's three dollar. It's for my son and son-in-law for Christmas, and then they're just the sport gear socks for three dollars, and they each have three pairs of socks. So that one, and then this one. They're just a little bit different colors, and then the black pair. So yeah, I got those. I picked up these adorable slippers and I might keep them for me because these are wonderful. So they're just by Cocoons. I hope, I hope I'm hope i saying that right. These were $4. They're the Sherpa line slippers, but look at the little doggy on there. Oh my gosh. I tease my husband all the time. I'll say, what? You got me a dog for Christmas, a puppy? <laughs> I tell him that all the time. He said, you know, Gail, you're going to be the crazy lady with all the dogs in her house. And I, I said, yeah, I probably will. Or all the animals, he always says. Oh, I love them. So look at how adorable they are. I'm in love with these slippers. I picked this up for my office just because I saw it there and I thought I need to have it. So every year, whenever um, we're all back into the office, because right now we call it our off season, when we're all back in the office, uh, we also not only are employed like my employees, but they also help clean every day. So I had to get an industrial mop head and I usually always go and buy one. But they had this at the Dollarama. So I said, yeah, I'm going to get that. So this was four dollars and it's a first street cotton blend. No break break in required holds more liquid so it's just a great big mop head like that and we have an industrial bucket and all that stuff so this will be a really good addition to that and in the winter months when we're picking up because there's a lot of snow here and a lot of slush we pick that up all the time so um yeah i got that for my office so i was very happy picked up some more tissue paper because you can never have enough and it's just the 20 sheets of the tissue paper this was a dollar 25 i believe yeah dollar 25 and it just has a little sequence in there or whatever you call it um for my dogs this is a repurchase this is organic sweet potato Leela, my Leela loves these and i put her cbd oil in it uh for her every day and it works out just fine for us so i got that for her this is what i picked up for my little finley this is just the soft and chewy chicken recipe milk bone and I believe this might have been $2. I'm not 100%, but it has to be soft for Finley. He has no teeth at all except for four in the back of his little mouth. So we picked up. We picked that up for him. It's just soft. It's always got to be soft for my little boy. Um, I also picked up these mushrooms, and this is just the whole mushrooms. I like to have stuff like this if I'm making like steak subs or something like that. And this is just nice. Or cut them down if you're making a pizza. But just to have it extra handy on hand when you don't have the fresh mushrooms. I picked up, this was a dollar. And this is just the Morris Icy Squares. Oh, these are delicious. Somebody, I forget 
who told me, but they said put them in the freezer. And I'm telling you, these are delicious. Once you put them in the freezer and take them out, oh my God. And what a nice little treat. So the last thing that I picked up, and you guys will see this uh, whenever I do my cooking video with my little grandson. So I'm not sure when this video is going to go up, like I said, and you may see them in these before you see this video. So um, I have to record my videos, uh, you know, when I can. So look at how adorable these aprons are for my little grandsons for to bake with me. So Phoenix will wear this one. Look at how cute they are. Look at that. Just a cute little apron. See the little boy wearing it? Isn't that adorable? So this one's for Phoenix. They only had the one Santa. I would have got all my boys the same. But Lincoln and River will be the little elf. Look at how adorable these are. I'm like, oh my goodness gracious, these are adorable. I was so happy. So I picked up two of those. I can't wait to do my cooking video, show you guys little snippets of my grandsons. It's going to be so much fun. Anyway, that is it for today, guys. Thank you so, so much for joining me. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye, everybody.